In the words of Mike, a structural engineer, everything's going to be all right because we have Ruffin. Yes, Ruffin's a great little auto lisp routine. What can Ruffin be used for? Well, Ruffin can turn a line or a polyline into an irregular zigzag line. Now, where would you use something like this? Where well, where I use it frequently is on concrete surfaces that need to be scab scabbled for better adhesion with concrete. So Ruffin, you can download it from blog.draftsperson.net. There it is there. Now, how does it work? Well, here's a detail of a slab on ground, and we're putting a fairly large hob there, uh, which is two separate pores. Now, the interface between those two concrete pores, I want to scabble so that the concrete bonds to it well. So let's use our roughen command. So upload, roughen, load, and let's just roughen, type it in. Now the drawing scale is set to 20 and it's rough, roughness period and amplitude is one. So just use the default settings and it does it quite well. As you can see, it scabbles the surface of that line. So it's quite a fast little tool for doing that. Now let's have a look at some of the other options in roughen. So roughen, type it in. Let's go O for options. We can change the scale. If I just change it to 10, leave the zigzags as one and one you can see it's smaller. So you can play around with the settings there. Now let's have a look at what happens when we do drawing scale to 20, but this time it says that larger um, rough, roughness period, larger numbers give fewer zigzags. So let's go two, it is one. And then the next line it, option, it's roughness amplitude, larger numbers give higher spikes. So let's put that as two, it's one, and see what that does. So you can see it makes it quite large. So good old roughen. Let's put it back to 20, 1 and 1, which is a scale 1 to 20, which this detail is at. Roughen, great little command for scabbling between concrete surface details.